I'm Heidi Spleet. I'm here with Dr. Jean-Yves Reginster of the University of Liège in Belgium. And we are here to talk about the Sequoia study. Why was it important to conduct this study? Well, osteoarthritis is the most common disorder in elderly patients. It affects more than 50% of the population of the age of 60. And unfortunately, until now, we don't have any medication which has been proved to reduce the symptoms of the disease, but also concomitantly to reduce the progression of the disorder. So that's why we conducted that trial. And what are the clinical implications of your findings for patients? Well, the findings, the findings we got in that study was that strontium ranolate, a medication which is currently marketed for osteoporosis in more than 100 countries outside the United States, is also able to reduce the joint space, narrowing the progression of the disease and to improve the symptoms of the patient with osteoarthritis of the knee. So the implication is that for those patients, maybe in the future we'll have something to give that will help them in their daily life, decreasing their pain, improving their function, decreasing their stiffness, but also on the long run that will prevent them to need surgery, total joint replacement for instance. And although this is not currently available in the United States, what's the status right now as far as approvals and uh, what additional research is coming up? The, the status for approval is that the drug is approved, as I mentioned, in 100 countries for osteoporosis in 2003, and the, the file for the uh, management of osteoarthritis will be soon submitted to the EMA, the European FDA. So that's where we are in terms of the status. For further research, I think that there is a twin study actually conducted in Far, in far East with Asian people that will also provide them some benefit if the results are similar. And eventually, one thing what we need to do in the future, if the drug is approved, is to define what subgroup of patient will the best target for that particular medication. Do you have any thoughts about what subgroup that might be? Well, from, from the first results, very preliminary that we looked at, it seems that women over the age of 60 with a BMI over 25 might be the best target. Thank you very much. Thank you.